little church the way Ray will want us to have it. So come on all over the house. Let's put your hands together and let's give God some glory. Give God some praise. If you got a tambourine, I need you to play that tambourine. If you got hands, I need you to put them together. If you got a voice, I need you to lift them and give God a shout of praise. Come on, Paul.
Come on, let's give God some glory and give God some praise. While you're on your feet, can you help me give God praise for the life and legacy of our own minister, Ellis Ray Witcher? We come to celebrate today. We come to celebrate today, and we certainly thank God for the gift that he had given to us in the person of Minister Ray Witcher. If you would, with the exception of the family, continue to stand as we prepare for our scripture readings. Elder Robin Darden will come with our Old Testament and New Testament scripture, and then immediately following our scripture reading, we will be led in a prayer of comfort uh, by Brother Rashawn Cole. to myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, and the word of the Lord is blessed. the life, Father God, of a servant who dedicated his life to you, Lord. Father, I want to honor you today, Father God, as we begin to celebrate and we transition, Father God, our brother, our uncle, and our friend, Father God, to be with you, Lord, as he rests. Father, I'm praying for grace for the family, Lord. We're asking that there will be strength, that there will be life, Father God, not only, Father God, today as we celebrate, but there also is a time for mourning, Lord God. And this is a, a time that we celebrate him going away, Lord God, but your word does declare that there is a time to mourn as well. And as we go through this mourning process, Father, I want to pray for strength, strength to endure, Father God. Strength, Father God, to push past uh, the hurt, the pain, and just a process of life where we have to let certain things go even if we don't want to heavenly father i ask today in your name O lord that after the the prayers and the the letters and the cards and the encouragement after that stops in months from now father god when we're alone father god that you will remind us that ray is no longer dealing with pain he's no longer dealing with hurt He's no longer carrying disease, but he's resting with you, Heavenly Father. And I also want to pray, Father God, for the immediate family, the brothers and the sisters. 
We want to lift up mom right now to you, Lord God. We want to lift up uh, Sheila, Lord God. We want to lift up James, Father. The remaining siblings, Lord. They lost their brother, Father. And they know their brother, Lord, better than we know him, Father. And I just want to just speak peace. If there was any words that were spoken, Father God, anything that was left on the table, we say that it's done. And we speak no animosity, Lord God, no hurt, no resentment. I come against the spirit of condemnation and the spirit of shame and guilt. And Father God, we declare right now that even if there was some challenging times, we focus on the good times. It's finished, Lord God, it's done. And so Father God, today, we thank you for this house of God, this place, this body that has come together to honor and celebrate the life of Ellis Ray Witcher. And we know, Father God, that those that have called on your name, Father God, that we'll see him again, Lord. We mark this spot as temporary. We mark this day as temporary. And we declare that we will see our brother again. And we thank you that, for that, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Amen. I 
what you're going through, you can depend on God. I know it, it's not Sunday morning, but it's feeling like Sunday morning. So if you don't mind, look down your row and say, neighbor, no matter what's going on in your life or in mine, there's one thing we are assured of. We can depend on God. Is there anybody in the room? Listen, if I can just be honest, we know that Ray carried and endured many things on a daily basis. And one thing that I can say about Ellis Ray Witcher is that he was faithful unto death. He was a faithful servant of the Lord. I know that there are times he did not feel like coming, didn't have the strength in his body. 
but every now and then he will get up and testify, I can d depend on God through the rain, through the storm, through sickness and pain. And if I could be honest, many of us quit on God for less, but he was a testimony, you can depend on God. Can we give God glory and give God praise one more time for the living testament? that Brother Ray shared with each and every one of us. Amen. At this time, if Sister Tucker would come with the acknowledgments and resolutions, and then following Sister Tucker, Sister Cole would come with a selection in that order. Amen. Peace. Because I always knew Uncle Ray is a joyous man, I will be joyfully reading the resolutions. So bear with me because there are several. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be a steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as they know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. We the, glorious, we, the original glorious church family, do humbly bow in submission to the will of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the passing of beloved Elder Ellis Ray Witcher. When we heard of the passing of Elder Witcher, our hearts and prayers went out to you, realizing a place is now vacant, which can never be filled, but always a beautiful memory of one we love so dear. Grieving at the passing of our loved one is not a new experience, but we know your pain will fade into treasured memories as this difficult time passes. May God ease your hour of sorrow and surround you with his love. Therefore, dear ones, be encouraged and trust Jesus, for he can give you peace. We will continue to remember all of you in our prayers, humbly submitted by the original Glorious Church family, overseer Dr. Benita Wright Pastor. To the family of Minister Ellis Ray Witcher, we are today comforted by the words of our Lord in Revelation 21.4, which says, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. We the pastor, first lady, official board, and members of the Tristone Missionary Baptist Church extend our heartfelt sympathy to you, the family, as you mourn the passing of your loved one, Minister Ellis Ray Richer. It has pleased our dear Heavenly Father to call our beloved brother home and inasmuch as our hearts have been ma made sad because we may no longer hear his kindly voice nor behold his dear face in the flesh, we nevertheless rejoice in the spirit, being confident that he has experienced his glorious resurrection change, having heard the sweet, well done, and is now counted worthy to see our Lord as he is. Having profited by his life of self-sacrifice, which has brought to us untold blessings and growth in Christian character, we will continue to raise our voices in heartfelt gratitude and thanksgiving to our dear Heavenly Father and blessed Redeemer for the privileges and favors which have been ours in his untiring zeal and loving ministry. We will greatly miss Minister Ray Witcher's presence, ministering in song, playing that tambourine, and his unique dance. Ray loved to dress and could do it well. He was known for his sweet potato pies. I remember you tried to compete with me with those sweet potato pies. I said, that's all you, Uncle Ray. He was a member of many ministries here at Tristone and was very committed and faithful to each and every one of them. Be assured that the Tristone Missionary Baptist Church stands ready to aid you if, you if the need should arise. We pray that God will continue to comfort and strengthen the family during this time of grief. Be it resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the family and a copy placed in the permanent records of Tristone Baptist Missionary, excuse me, Baptist Church. Respectfully submitted on this 29th day of October in the year of 2022. Tristone Missionary Baptist Church, Overseer Del D. Tucker, Senior Senior Pastor, Bishop Jerome H. Ross, Senior Pastor Emeritus. To the family of Minister Ellis Ray Witcher, the future is not ours to know and it may never be. So let us live and give our best, never anticipating or doubting the power of our Savior, asking nothing of tomorrow except thy will be done. We, the members of the Tristone Missionary Baptist Church Evangelism Ministry, extend our deepest sympathy to you and the loss of your loved ones and offer our prayers for your comfort and your strength. God is always near to help us through the difficult times in life and to give us assurance of his love for us. Jesus says it best in Matthew 11:28, 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 
We hope that you take him at his word. He will not fail you, neither will he leave or forsake you. Be assured that our love and prayers are with you. We will lift you up before the Lord during this difficult time. The eternal God is thy refuge. Underneath are his everlasting arms. Above you is the Lord's covering. Beneath you is his strength and security. And around you are his arms of love. May God grant you peace which passeth all understanding. May God bless each of you is our sincere prayer. Be it resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the family and a copy placed in the permanent records of our ministry. Humbly submitted on this 29th day of October in the year of 2022, Tristone Missionary Baptist Church Evangelism Ministry, Elder Lashana Smith, lead servant, Overseer Dell D. Tucker, Senior Senior Pastor, Bishop Jerome H. Ross, Senior Pastor Emeritus. To the family of Minister Ellis Ray Witcher, if I walk in the pathway of duty, if I work, if I work till the close of the day, Lord, I shall see the great king in all of his beauty. When I've gone the last mile of the way, when I've gone the last mile of the way, I shall rest at the close of day, for I know there are joy awaiting when I've gone the last mile of the way. We, the members of the music and arts ministry of the Tristone Missionary Baptist Church, offer our deepest sympathy to you during this time of great loss. Psalm 62, 8 states, trust in him at all times. Ye people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. It is during times at these that we draw upon our faith, stand upon our scriptures, and rely upon our God. By and by, all mysteries will be clear, all disappointments revealed. God will keep you, comfort, and sustain you if you put your trust in him. You and your family are forever in our prayers. Though the clouds may hover over us, there's a bright and golden ray. Ray. It's the promise that in heaven, God shall wipe all tears away. No more sorrow, no more weeping. Peace and joy shall, fold, shall hold full sway. For besides life's crystal river, God shall wipe all tears away. Minister Ellis Ray Richer was a member of the Angelic Christian Voices Chapel, Sanctuary, Choir, Male Chorus, Mass Choir, and the Voices of Tristone was very committed and faithful to his assignments. He loved to sing and play his tambourine. He didn't mind praising the Lord when he would sing songs such as, I could depend on God, he's my everything, his eye is on the sparrow, the last mile of the way, and many, many more. May the grace and peace of God be with you always. Prayerfully submitted on this 29th day of October in the year of 2022, Tristone Missionary Baptist Church Music and Arts Ministry, James E. Watley, Minister of Music, Overseer Dell D. Tucker, Sr., Senior Pastor, Bishop Jerome H. Ross, Sr., Pastor Emeritus. say good morning. It feels like morning, but good afternoon. Um, looking at my family, I love y'all so much. And um, I was thinking about the story, I was, I think it was BJ's wedding, where we had a pastor, or the minister was up there uh, doing what ministers do, and uh, Uncle Ray knew he, it was his time to sing, and I don't think we knew, so he just started singing. <laughs> And me being my young self, I remember laughing, um, but just thinking about the, the power of Uncle Ray's voice, um, just the beauty of who he is, and I'm like cherishing, cherishing the memories and wanting to cherish y'all even more. So, um, Mama said this was one of his favorite songs, and I'm just gonna give the glory to Jesus because he's good, he's been good, and he stays good. Why should I feel discouraged? And why 
Should the shadows come? And why does my heart feel so lonely and long for heaven and home when Jesus is my portion oh come selection and for the acknowledgments we certainly know that brother Ray had good reason to sing his song at this time we will have reflections uh, there's so many ministries that uh, minister which you were a, was a part of active in and faithful to uh, but our executive pastor is going to come and give reflections following her if uh, brother Ronald Givens will come uh, Tracy Taylor Joyce Jones 
will come in that order and following the reflections then we will be blessed with a selection um, from Elder Joe Moorhead. Come on, can we give God a hand clap of praise for this celebration of life? Amen. Amen. Just give me a minute. This was. This was a little um, hard for me. Could I have the ministerial staff stand? All of the ministerial staff stand. Elder Bryan, Elder Crosby, amen. As stated, he served on a lot of ministries. Elder Gibbs in the back, um, Pastor Jamal Turner back there, but he was a part of the ministerial staff. And he meant so much to all of us. And I wanna represent the ministerial staff there's so much that's been said the last few weeks even about Minister Ray. But I don't care what I asked him to do. If we needed him to do something, he was always willing to do it. Just, I don't care what it was. As Pastor stated, sometimes he may not have felt well or whatever, but he would do whatever was needed of him. He was just, just never turned you down. And in the obituary, it says he was the unofficial funeral psalmist. But uh, I've had a lot of uh, ministries that I've done outside of the Chapel of Peace. And when I was called to do a service, a funeral service somewhere else, and they needed a singer, the first person I would call was Ray. So Ray and I were a team. <laughs> and, and I would, you know, he would go around with me to funeral services, home-going services, and I would preach and he would sing for me. And I always told him, I said, well, I have to... Uh, I have to be able to bless my psalmist. And of course, they didn't have a problem with that, but what I, the reason I said that and what I loved about it was, it didn't matter if he was getting blessed with a love offering. He didn't care if he didn't get a dime. He, he was just willing to go with me and sing, and I always made sure he was blessed. And, and then, then he would say something like, well, I really wasn't looking for this, but you know what I'm gonna do with this and what I can do with this, and you know, so. <laughs> I'm going to miss my friend. There was a, I'm going to share this, a, a little joke between me and Elder Robin and Ray. Ray was my church husband. <laughs> he was my church husband. That was, that was a little joke between us. And last time he got out of the hospital, and I didn't call him right away. And he talked to Robin, Elder Robin, before he talked to me. And I talked to her, and she said, he mad at you. You in trouble. <laughs> I said, oh, Lord, my church husband mad at me. I said, I got to call him. And I hadn't called him right away because I wanted him to get himself together, and I know everybody was calling and all of that stuff. And I finally called him, and he did. He let me have it. He was like, I thought we was better than that. And I had to plead my case, and I did. I went and took him some juice, took him some lunch, you know, and all of that. But I'm going to miss my friend. I'm going to miss my friend. And I'm going to take my seat, but there was three things I'm reminded of that uh, Job was certain of. First, he said, I know that my Redeemer liveth. He was certain of that. And then Job said that these bodies that we live in, he was certain that they were not permanent. But the third thing that blessed me, he said that death was defeated. <laughs> Ray, death has been defeated. And Ray's got the victory. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to leave you with this. We are not saved by our works, but we are rewarded for our works. Minister Ray, take your rest. God bless you all. To the family, we love you. We're praying for you. And we are here. Amen.
give reverence to the pulpit. Good afternoon. On October 10th, the Lord spoke to Ray, and I believe he said, Come, my servant, you have been faithful, and I have prepared a place for you where the wicked shall cease from troubling and the weary shall be at rest. I believe Ray's answer was, I'll come because my work here on earth is done. I imagine his thought was, I can now wear my long white robe and golden crown because it is well. Ray was a dedicated and faithful son to our mother until she passed away two years ago last month. We certainly miss him. When I think of my brother, I really get tickled because he was the best dresser, the best cook, the best tambourine player, and the best singer. And he knew it. Yeah, he knew it. The song that comes to my mind that he used to sing when he lived in Nashville and was a member of Foster Chapel Baptist Church was I shall wear a golden crown to my family. Ray is at peace and he is resting in the precious arms of Jesus. He is now wearing his long white robe and his golden crown. May God continue to bless each of you. Remember, it is well with Ray. giving reverence to the roster. Uh, Bishop Jerome H. Rose, Emerit, the overseer, Dale D. Tucker. I bring you greetings from the Temple Church, 3810 Kings Lane, Nashville, Tennessee. My pastor. My pastor, Dr. Dale Drumray. This evening I'm going to take 40 words in one verse. And that's it, that verse, and I think we will have an answer. You can count them. Go to Second Chronicles, 7th chap- chapter and the 14th verse. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will heal from heaven and forgive their sins and will heal their land. Let me take a moment and cut it up so you can swallow it. If, that's possibility, my people, that's personal, will humble themselves, that's preparation, and pray, that's power, and seek my face, that's a privilege, and turn from their wicked ways, that's progress, then will I hear from heaven, that's precision, 
and will forgive them of their sins. That's part of it. And will I hear and heal the land? That's preparation. Elder Richard, he lived 863 months, 3,744 weeks, 26,278 days, 37,317,000 hours and 600 minutes. He lived 71 years, 11 months, and 28 days. We haven't lost him because we know where he is. He caught up in Jesus and we know what he's doing. We know he's bowing before our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We know he lived with grace and mercy. He walked in boldness. He stood with admiration. He spoke with authority. He dressed with pride. He lived in humanity. He rejoiced in faithfulness. He soared in serenity. He died in dignity, and he now lives in eternity. To the family, friends, the Elder Richard, keep your hands in God's hands and look to the hills which come at our help. We know that our help comes from the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord, everyone. Y'all look good, family. Uncle Ray would be proud. Um, my Uncle Ray wasn't just my uncle. It's my godfather also. And we talked a lot. I moved away and we still swapped text messages and pictures of his pets <laughs> and, um, and different stories. We would swap and pictures of us and this is what we looking like right now. And then we would call each other and say, did you get that picture? Like, yeah, I got that picture. And he would always say, His way we end with, I love you dearly. I love you dearly is all I hear. I hear it. Um, as everyone has spoken early on, Uncle Ray did a lot for our community, for our family. He watched my children when I was in transition of child care. I mean, all day he watched my my boys and, and he loved doing it and he would always tell good stories I mean the kids were like in awe like they couldn't be bad because <laughs> he, he kept telling them stories and stories and was so intriguing um, but I'm, I'm gonna truly miss my uncle he was a good texter. We, he, he had it down, you know. He was quick, too. He would send back the response before I could respond. I said, oh, you are good. He said, yeah, I got this new phone. <laughs> he said, I got a new phone. I got to figure this. I think it was a Google or something. And he said, was it Google? And he had to figure it out. He said, but I'm going to get it. So I love you, Uncle Ray. I'm going to miss you. But you're always right here. So you're always with me. I love you.
God to the pastor, assistant pastor, all the church members. I'm very glad to be in your midst. My brother was proud, very proud, very proud of this church. He loved it so much. He always talked about it and cooking breakfast with the men on those mornings, men's breakfast, and all the things that you did, he just loved it. And I always said, I'm gonna come over there, I'm coming, I'm coming, but I never made it. <laughs> but I, I hate that I have to come now for this. But I wanna tell all my family and friends, love each other, stop the fighting, stop the arguing, don't do it. You don't want know what tomorrow might bring. Show love if you love someone. Because I know that's what I'm going to do from now on. Every day I tell my family I love them. I tell them, make a memory about something good that happens. And I want you all to do that too. Thank you very much. I love you, brother. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I got to tell you a funny story. I've known Ray for many years. I remember his father playing the guitar and his mother beating the drum. So I've known him a long time. But when we were meeting with the family, Sheila told me that Ray always talked about me and said that he and I were in competition for singing and for dressing. So today, where you win, you win in both categories. I need thee every hour, most great, just Lord, no tender voice like thine. Can peace afford? I need the old. I need thee. Anybody need him in this house? Every hour. I need. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I, I come to, to thee, for in times like these, we need a Savior. And in times like these, we need an account. So you be sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid, the solid rock. For Jesus knows all about our struggles, and he will guide us till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. Oh, no, oh no, oh no, not one, no, 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 not one, but this is what Ray is saying today, I've been through the storm and rain, but I made it, 
पे तुहारे के पे आमिर तो ही हैड अ क्रास समटाइम्स तो ही वुड सिक समटाइम्स ओह ही सेड आमिर 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 Hallelujah 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 Ah I made it for when I see Jesus I say amen When I see Jesus I want to know anybody want to see him in this house this morning When I see Jesus When I see Jesus When I see Jesus Yeah yeah Oh hey baby Oh my problems Oh my troubles All his struggles All his sickness Today it's over Over Over, 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 over. I'm living to see Jesus. I'm living to see Jesus. I'm working to see Jesus. I'm working to see Jesus. I'm singing to see Jesus. I'm praying to see Jesus. When I see Jesus, when I see Jesus, when I see Jesus, Amen. When I see Jesus, Amen. Amen. All my troubles will be over when I see Jesus. Amen. It's good to know that when I see Jesus, how many can say amen? Amen. We thank God today that Brother Ray can say amen and see Jesus face to face. But he can't crown him. I said, but he can't crown him till we get there. Amen. It's almost preaching time. I said it's almost preaching time. Amen. And we're grateful today that we have one that can certainly rightly divide the word of truth. I would ask that you stand in prayer for our bishop, Bishop Jerome Henry Ross Sr. Amen. I ask that you would pray with him and for him as he comes to mount the pulpit. Uh, the program is calling for Sister Tucker to come and read the obituary. Amen. And uh, Brother Joe, if what you said was true, uh, I think Brother Ray let you sing because he has one more to give. Amen. He let you have your space. I believe Brother Ray is going to bless us. Amen. With the selection one more time. And then the next voice you will hear will be uh, from our apostolic father, Bishop Jerome Henry Ross Sr. in that order, amen. The reading of the obituary. I have fought a good fight. 
I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all of them also that love his appearing. 2 Timothy 4, 7 and 8. 7 through 8. Ellis Ray Richard went home to be with the Lord on October 10, 2022. At the age of 71, after a long battle with Crohn's disease and several other ailments. Ellis Ray was born to William and Ida Witcher on October 12, 1950 in Sharples, West Virginia. After relocating to New Jersey, his family settled in Columbus, Ohio, where he graduated from East High School in 1969. Ray went on to study at Audubon College where he majored in music. In the 1970s, Ray moved to Nashville, Tennessee. There, Ray sang professionally with recording artist Professor Harold Box. In Nashville, Ray met his second family, mother, Mary Christine Givens, sister, Ramona John Perry, and big little brother, Ronald Givens. They were very dear to his heart. Ray attended Foster Temple and B Church, where he served as the associate minister under the leadership of Bishop Alonzo E. Hatchett. While in Nashville, Ray worked in the field of nursing and dietary. In the 1980s, he returned to Ohio to help in the aid of his ailing parents. Ray was an integral part of the Tri-Stone Missionary Baptist Church for many, many years. He first came to the Stone as a regular attendee on the Sunday night live broadcast services. He consistently attended services, dressed to the nines, with his tambourine ready to praise. After joining, Ray faithfully served in several ministries, even in sickness. As a true giver, Ray was lead servant of the hospitality ministry, the kitchen where he was the cook for the men of vision, transportation, and pastor service club. Ray frequently welcomed visitors with an encouraging word in scripture. Ray was also part of the ministerial staff, seasoned citizens, single stone singles ministry, and the cancer support group. Ray was most involved in the church's music ministries, the angelic Christian's voices, the male chorus, the voices of Trite Stone, the mass choir, and his beloved chapel sanctuary choir, where he was an anchor and often featured lead vocalist. Ray even stepped in to rhythmically play percussion when needed. Ray was a true gift to the body of Christ, often serving as the church's unofficial funeral psalmist. He was always prepared to bless grieving families with his powerful, melodic, and anointed selections. Whenever there was an opportunity to work in the vineyard, Ray put his hands to the gospel plow, and he did the work. Ray was a master of all trades. He was a chef and known for his baking skills. On holidays, he would take orders for his lemon and pound cakes. His delicious sweet potato pies were his specialty, and everybody knew that and were always in demand. Ray was also a dog lover. He was very fond of his late mixed English pit bull, Cain. After Cain's passing, Ray was united with the Golden Doodle, whom he affectionately named Yarcel, which is Ellis Ray spelled backwards, and everyone knew that too. <laughs> Yarcel was Ray's little girl, who he would somehow bring up in conversation. She was always by his side, even until the end. Ray was preceded in death by his parents, Bishop William F. Witcher Sr. and Miss Ida M. Witcher, brothers William F. Witcher Jr., Elder Curtis E. Witcher, sister Patricia A. Witcher, and nephew Curtis E. Witcher Jr. He is survived by brothers James L. Witcher, sisters Joyce E. and Norman Jones, Sheila N. Robert Waters, all of Columbus, Ohio, Aunt Eleonora Cooper, Texas, Elizabeth Cooper, New Jersey, and Naomi Epps, North Carolina. His goddaughter, Tracy Almond, Brady Taylor, cousin Richard, Julie Witcher, a host of nieces, nephews, cousins, family, and friends. And before I leave, if you guys would just turn with me to the last page of the program, not the one that says acknowledgments, but right before that. And if you notice here, which I think has been represented throughout the service thus far, is that he wore many hats right, both figuratively and literally. So I'm gonna leave with this poem, The Man of Many Hats.
A subtle man of flair comes and goes as in thin air. Always trimmed, needs his hair, always certain what he'll wear. He's been seen in many rooms, master of bold costumes. Where he goes, fashion blooms as butterflies emerge from little tombs. He, a master of disguise, suddenly cool and worldly wise, evokes from everyone's admiring sighs. His stature seems to touch the skies. He a marvel and a mystery, like mermaid legends of the sea. Such a fine dramatist is he. He can be anyone he wants to be. He, the man of subtle grace, charmed are those who've seen his face. God bless you all.
Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Who Jesus is. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Who Jesus is. I tell you, he. The bride and I tell you he Boy everybody I'm glad I know I'm glad I know Who Jesus is Who Jesus is I'm glad I know I'm glad I know who Jesus is, I tell you he oh, the brightest, I tell you he oh, everybody, everybody ought to know, everybody ought to know. Who Jesus is? Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Who Jesus is? Who Jesus is? I tell you, He. Oh, He. Friday. I tell you, He. you may be seated in the presence of the Lord we do honor the spirit of Christ on this afternoon to he who presides our pastor and overseer of Tucker and to our executive pastor and all the elders that are present and to this brief family we greet you in the name of the eternal and declare unto you that our God is on our side. We are grateful for the life and memory of Brother Ray Witcher. I, I sat there and I chuckled because When I found out that Ray liked to cook, Sister Bessie, he would uh, every now and then fix me a ham. And you know, my family liked honey baked ham. But I liked the ham the old time way with pineapples on top and cherries. And Ray would fix me those kind of hams and he took delight in cooking for his pastor and uh, now he fooled me I thought I knew uh, he baked sweet potato pies but it seemed like when he had them little pies he told me someone else cooked them and I, they're, they're all right well but I, I, I kept hearing these stories. I said, well, now, wait a minute. I don't want to get mixed up here because, you know, I, I thought I was eating his pie, but and then I, well, okay, but well, we got it together. And, um, but Ray, not only did he like to cook for uh, me, but when the brothers would have those breakfast meetings. Now, I'm not an early riser. Don't like to get up early. Never like to get up early. But when Ray would cook breakfast for the brothers, I made it on time. <laughs> you know, I, I tell you, he was going to have it laid out. He just didn't do it haphazardly. 
he did it and he did it right amen and then uh, we can always count on Ray to sing at anyone's service he didn't have to know you and um, the truth of the matter uh, he was scheduled to sing a few weeks ago and he didn't show up and uh, I was standing there in line and someone said Ray hasn't got here and I said well we better wait a minute and I said they said well I don't think he's coming and uh, I said well if he's going to sing he'll call in and sing <laughs> amen that, that's, that's exactly what I said because he was faithful to his assignment and when he didn't show up we knew something was terribly wrong because that was not Ray and uh, not only had we discovered that he had went home to be with the Lord and then um, I got word that the family wanted me to give the eulogy and uh, I, uh, I debated a little bit not because I didn't want to but um, I knew that uh, I was no longer his pastor I was his bishop his friend but I was not his pastor and I I don't believe in stepping over leadership. I definitely believe in following leadership because if you can't follow, you can't lead. And, uh, and uh, I, 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 I lead an organization called Kingdom Connection Fellowship International. I, I lead that. And I expect those who are members uh, to follow me. But then uh, I thought about it and I said, for so many years, I did serve as his pastor. And if that was their request, then I would seek to honor it. Amen. Not because uh, I wanted to, but because they requested me to. And uh, I loved Ray. I, he, 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 now the brother that just from uh, Tennessee, I think he, uh, he came up and I looked at his hands, he had rings. And he had rings on everything. I said, you related to Ray. I said, I, I thought I said, you are definitely related to Ray. I definitely so. You know, Ray was going to give us fashion. Amen. He was going to give us fashion. And I, 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 I'll share this with you. Um, I, I can't even remember. It was. You know, we we change hairstyles. Those of us who had hair, and uh, I don't. Ray had one of these fancy. Was it them little twist things? Uh, and I I told him I I said, Ray, if you're gonna be, now I'm old school. I'm just I'm just old school. I just I some things I like some things I don't like I'm, I'm just old school and when it came to ministry I'm old school I just feel like preachers ought to look like preachers and if you and Ray had this hairstyle 
and it was not becoming to me as a preacher of the gospel. And uh, I took it as long <laughs> as I could take it. And I, I called him, I called him in and I said, well, you've got to do something because you, you just, you know, you don't. And uh, that was the first time that I think I made him mad. <laughs> he actually got angry with me, and he told me that um, he was not going to change his hair. And I told him, you're not going to be a preacher here. <laughs> because I went out. Because he decided I'm going to be obedient. Even if I don't like it, there's a passage of scripture that says, obey those who have the rule over you. And even sometimes uh, our leaders, we don't like what they do, how they do, but the Bible says we are not to grieve them and that we are to obey them. And uh, Ray gave in and we mended our ways and I was happy that he changed. <laughs> Amen. He was just a good fellow. He was just a good fellow. Now, there were times and I, I, I uh, did not want to ask Ray how he felt. There were just, there were moments because if I asked him, I got the whole history <laughs> as if I had not heard it before <laughs> and uh, every time I asked him he'd go over it and it was not rehearsed it was just Ray but then he would always end it like this he would say but God has kept me And he would say, Pastor, there were times I was sick and I thought I was leaving here, but God kept me. Aren't you glad that we serve a God that will keep you what other folks died with? God kept him alive with it. I had somebody. And if you don't mind, let's just give God a hand clap of praise for the life. Yeah. My brother Ray Rich, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give me about 15, 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I waited on you all, so. And uh, Psalms 40, Psalms 40, verses 1 through 3. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the mire clay, set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. This is a part. And he hath put a new song in my mouth. Praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. And if 
I tag this today with a new song. Now God give this word preaching power. Take servant's body, stand up in it. Take my mind, keep it clear, keep it focused, think with it. Feed my mind. Now, God, as I feed these thy people, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. You are my strength. You are my redeemer. I thank you now, God, for being who you are. Thank you for just being God. Eh, thank God for Jesus. Amen a new song. Today's lesson is taken from the book of Psalms, which has given us some of the most beautiful writings and hymns of the church. This book has been known as the book of praise, which expresses the goodness of God. In this book, you will find prayers and hymns and poems and thanksgiving for deliverance. All through this book, you will find praises to Jehovah for what he has done. So today we come to this book to celebrate the life and memory of Minister Ray Witcher. Facing circumstances that we cannot change can cause us to think and feel like we have fallen into a deep pit that we can't climb out of, surrounded by a series of hardships, trapped by depression, discouragement, and despondency. We often feel that we are drowning in our own troubles, gradually sinking deeper and deeper in despair. David finds himself in this kind of hardship and writes the words of our text. Listen what he says. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. The first thing I want to point out is the power of waiting. Ah, learning to wait on the Lord is one of the hardest lessons of our Christian life. When we cry out to God in times of trouble, we want him to respond immediately. <laughs> but God's timing as well as his purpose uh, is often different from our time. I've discovered that God uses trials, difficulties, and suffering to accomplish things in our lives until he chooses to deliver us out of our trouble. We have to learn how to wait on him. David waits with confidence in God. He had trusted him in times past, and God had delivered him. And so in his mind, he says, if he did it then, he can do it again. I knew he would answer because he's always answered. I've discovered that God hears us and answers us in one way or another. Usually, it's yes, no, or wait. <laughs> As we wait, the Lord strengthens us to endure our trials, our sickness, our trouble, as he performs his perfect work in our lives. At the time of his choosing, he delivers us out of our pit of despair and gives us a song and a testimony of his faithfulness. I hear him in Psalms 27, 14 declare, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalms 135 declares, I wait for the Lord. My soul doeth wait in his word do I hope. As, and all of us are familiar with Isaiah 40, 28, 31. Has thou not known? 
Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth increase strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. Young men shall utterly fall, but they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They'll mount up with wings like eagles. They'll run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. Grandma said it like this. He may not come when you want him, <laughs> but he's always on time. Do I have anybody in here? Yeah. How, how, how do I know that, Sister Geneva? I'll tell you how I know it. It's in the text. The text says, he heard my cry. Whatever you do, you don't want to become discouraged. Don't become weak or weary in your faith. You just ask the Savior to help you. Comfort, strengthen, and keep you. He is willing. <laughs> uh, he's able to carry you through. Listen to what he says. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit. Let me describe this pit for a moment. It's deep, Brother Joe Mickey. It's dark. It's muddy. It's mire clay. It's lonely. There's, it's helplessness. There's nothing good. Everything is bad. Lord, help me here. But Judge, I discovered that there's a weakness that a pit has. And that weakness is a pit will make you look up. Oh, my God. Sister Bessie, I almost jumped out of my bed when I, God told me the pit has one weakness. You got to look up. But when I look up, I acknowledge that he is God. When I look up, I acknowledge my dependence on him. When I look up, I acknowledge my strength is in him. When I look up, I acknowledge he's my source of deliverance. Yeah, up above my head, I hear music in the air. Up above my head, I hear shouting in the air. There must be a God somewhere. He's my help and he's going to bring me out. If you don't mind, just look down your row and say, neighbor, he's my help and he's going to bring me out. Then he says, he set my feet up on a rock and established my going. In times like these, we need a savior. In times like these, we need an anchor. Be very sure that your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. That rock is Jesus. He's the one. That rock is Jesus. He's the only one. Be sure, be very sure, y'all ain't helping me, that your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. Then he said he established my goings. He's chosen a path for me. It's called the path of righteousness. What is righteousness? Righteousness is no more than doing right. I remember grandma saying, all I want is a do right mind. I wish I had somebody in here. Now listen, he brings me up out of this pit and then he gave me a new song. He has put a new song unto our God. A new song implies a change of mind. A change in character. It makes you feel like a new man. A new start in life. A life that glorifies God. And I heard Paul said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. 
old things have passed away, and behold, all things become new. The deer thirsts for water. David thirsts for a song. David said, my soul thirsts for God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my meat day and night. While the wicked uh, continuously say unto me, where is thy God? David invites the nation, come sing with me. Help me serve God. Sing because he is the great king and ruler of all the earth. Sing praises unto God. Sing praises to my king. Sing with an understanding like you know God. I wish I had somebody in here. Yeah, there, yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes we sing, uh, but when you know who you're singing about, it makes a difference. Sing, the Lord is my strength and my helper. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiced. Uh, with my songs will I praise him. God gives me songs in the midnight. I wish I had somebody in here. How do I know it? Come here, Paul and Silas. They tell you we were locked in a Philippian jail. Oh, my God. The guards had fallen asleep. Uh, but at midnight, uh, I turned to Paul, and Paul turned to Silas, and they looked at one another, and I heard one say, I need you to sing while I pray. What we gonna pray? Thy kingdom come. Let thy will be. Y'all ain't helping me. Yeah, here on earth, as it is in heaven. For thine is the kingdom. Thine is the power. Thine is the glory forever and forever. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Do I have a witness? If you pray, he will hear you. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing Unto the Lord, all the earth. Sing unto the Lord and bless his name. Sing about his wondrous works. Sing about our God who is above all gods. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. As I prepare to close, keep on singing. You do remember when Jesus was born in Bethlehem. The angels <laughs> were instructed by the shepherds, saying, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Then I heard the Lord say, I want the choir from heaven to start singing. And suddenly there was with angels a multitude of heavenly hosts. They were praising God, saying, glory to God in the highest on earth Peace, goodwill toward men. John says in the Revelation, I heard the choir in heaven sing. I saw the throne of God. And Christ took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he took the book, four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb. Every one of them had harps and golden vials filled with the odor which had the prayers of the saints. Can I tell you, I thank God for singing. And Brother Ray is singing right now. He's got a new song. He's singing a song that the angels cannot sing. I've been redeemed. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. What can wash? away my sins nothing but the blood of Jesus what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of Jesus oh precious is the flow that makes me white as snow no other 
Fount I know nothing but the blood of Jesus. I tell you, keep on singing, Brother Ray. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing of his mercy and his grace. In the mansion, bright and blessed, he prepared for us a place. When we all, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing, we'll sing and shout the victory. What, what, rejoicing that will be when we all see we will. When we all, what, what, a, yeah, when we. We will. bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons and daughters of God. And it does not appear what we shall be, but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. In as much as it please Almighty God to take from this world the soul of our deceased brother, Brother Ray Witcher. We now place him in the hands of God. We now give his body back to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. May the peace of God and the grace of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide henceforth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.